Welcome to this episode of Catching Up with Yoseka Stationery. So, so casual. casual. I hope you all are really good here at Yoseka and in New York. It has been snowy, Very it snowy. has been cold, it's been frozen. And we recently just watched Frozen with Jacob. So I've got Frozen and snow and things on the mind. And we have some more snow to talk uh, about in one of our newly added things later. What a per <laughs> perfect segue. I know. But we're not gonna get to it until later. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be a snowy episode. Yeah. Um, so I hope you all are warmer than us here in New York. Um, it's been so chilly, but it's been great. We've been having um, a good past week here at Yoseka. One of the highlights for me last week was actually having to do with this postcard here. Oh. Yeah, so um, we shared this little story with all of you a, a few months ago um, before, before the holidays last year that a customer of ours, Bonnie, actually she's a student in New York um, and she, as part of a school project, she had a prompt to create a, pro a promotional poster. She basically came up with, with creating a promotional poster for Yoseka and I love it. And if you can't tell, we actually had Bonnie make it into a postcard size yeah. for us. So it's now in this four by six postcard and it just has really, really cute elements of Yoseka in it. There's our earliest release ever, Esther's Paws washi tape. Like that goes all the way back to like 2020. There is our origin pen here. There's some friction stamps. There's a platinum carbon ink. This person is being spilled. Uh oh, that's not good. That they're not gonna be able to get that out. <laughs> this is a very waterproof, waterproofing. Um, but and it has our address on there. So I was like, you know what, Bonnie? I would love more than anything to be able to share your artwork with everybody. Yeah. Um, so would you be able to turn this into a postcard that we can share with all of our customers and people who come to the store? Because it's it's perfect. It has our address on there. It's like perfect for people to visit the store and take one to go with them. So Bonnie did just that. She scaled it down into this size and then she put this adorable backing on it here and you can mail it away and it says designed by Bonnie Wong and there's Bonnie's website. I love this postcard. What's funny is that I actually had no idea really who Bonnie was. She just like came out of the blue and was like, oh, I just made this thing for you guys. And um, so I had been like hounding Bonnie to come to the store yeah. to like meet me. <laughs> like a crazed person like when can you come meet me i just wanted to meet her um and then i got these postcards printed and obviously she, i wanted to give her a bunch of them so um she came by the store and i finally got to meet this amazing person and you know it just it just made me realize um that she's a student yeah. so actually she told me her professor had to push her to send this to us oh what? because i think when you're a student um, and when you're, I guess, just an artist in general, or yeah. just like someone creative and you've made something, yeah. there you can feel shy about sharing it with people. So even though, like when she showed it to me, I was like, oh my God, it's amazing. And like, you know, there's, there, it's absolutely perfect. Like, I love it so much. I'm sure all of you do. Like it really, it's hard to show other people your work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think, I think that's, it really took like her professor encouraging her to um, show us to do that. So I yeah. thank you, Bonnie, for really sending it to us and prof her professor um, for encouraging her to do that. And for anybody watching this, like if you've made something and you've created something that you like, I encourage you to get it out there because yeah, chances are like other people will love it too. Yeah. Yeah. And they're in the store right now. You can just take them. That's right. Yeah. That, <laughs> I forgot the, yeah. forgot the main thing to say. They're available now in store for anybody who comes and they're also um, available as like a product on the website, even yeah. though it's free. So you can just add it on to your order. Um, kind of like our museum postcard that right. Jane designed for right. us a while ago. So yeah, 
I'm so excited about these. Shout out to Bonnie. Yeah, if anybody has you. work for Bonnie, she's graduating this spring. Oh. <laughs> she wants to get into children's book illustration. Oh my God. She's so talented. I can see that, yeah. Right? Yeah. So um, any any book editors out there, children's publishers, book, book publishers, yeah. please. Check, check out her website. Check out Bonnie. Other than that, what about your week? How's your week been? Anything you want to fill people in on? <laughs> I'm working on this very exciting project. I know, you are. <laughs> Since the beginning of the year, we've been uh, planning a bigger event that's not just in store. And similar to what we did with Kakimori, that kind mm -hmm. of idea, a little more interactive, a lot more in-depth. At the same time, you can really explore what a brand does. Mm, yeah. yeah. So we want to push that a little further, mm -hmm. a type of stationary event. Um, so, we're very close to getting a venue. <laughs> That's very exciting. We, you know what? It's, it's, it's so hard to get the venue. There's, it, is, um, it, it is hard. It is hard. Yeah, yeah, there are so many great venues in New York, yeah. but location is important. Yeah. It's the right size. Yeah. Um, so, we've found a good one. I think it's just two emails away, but uh, you know, yeah. um, it was just toggling between a few locations. Right. Um, so happy to say, I think it's pretty much confirmed. Yeah, yeah. so that's that's really like the first and most important step of this yeah, event, yeah. right? Yeah. Is really just nailing down a venue, which will give a date. Yeah. Um, and as soon as that the, those two emails come, you'll be able to probably share the date with everybody, right? right? right. Um, well, the date is pretty much confirmed. It's going to be August 7th, 8th, and 9th. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. Um, and uh, um, the, the, the brand are currently confirming. So um, I reached out to a few brands that if they can bring certain events that they, they only do in Japan, um, I asked if they can bring them here for um, for this event. So right. that's what I'm um, trying to make sure it happens. Right, you mentioned um, it's kind of like um, inspired yeah. by the Kakimori event that we did with Kakimori yeah, yeah. a few years ago yeah. where the team of Kakimori, like three members of the team, um, came to New York with right. like a bunch of their ink making supplies. Um, and we were able to do workshops like that here because that is how Kakibori got their start. And right. we just thought it was a really good way for people to learn about Kakimori right. and um, what their shop is like if you visit in Japan. Right. So that's our goal for this event, right? Is kind of to bring like a lot of those individual brands and their shops and their shop experiences right into this, this event. One space. Yeah. 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 And um, then you will have a very unique experience, interactive. Yeah. And then uh, out of all, we, we're going to make a lot of exclusive items as well as um, working with brands to make sure that happens. As yeah. Well. Yeah. Okay. So that is very exciting. And um, you'll share more with everybody as soon as we yeah. have, you know, as the details come out. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Good job, Neil. Good job. <laughs> okay, so um, we've been busy here yeah. at Yoseka, and um, aside from you know planning for later things like in August down yeah. down the down the line, um, we also have some newly added stationery, and I will start right here with this icy cold pen. <laughs> we talked about the first snow um, earlier, and this pen is the Sailor Plus collaborative pen called First Snow. So it's perfect. And it's this snowy blue pen. It comes in this beautiful box set with this ice gray ink. Um, but the pen itself looks like this, with like this matching kind of icy white converter. The pen itself looks like this. It is translucent white with silver particle, glitter particles all over. And then the main feature that you'll see is these sort of uh, snowflake decals in like silvery, light blue, you know, dark blue. And it's a Pro Gear Slim model. And the finial has like a snowflake feature as well with a little decal on it. And then the um, the nib has this, this little snowflake 
as well. So the whole thing is very uh, snow themed. That's why it's called First Snow. And the grip section matches the finials with this dark blue, transparent, glittery, icy pen. This is this is Elsa's fountain pen. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. We just watched Frozen really, with Jason. It really, it really does look like. Right? Yeah. yeah. This is Elsa's fountain pen, you guys. For yeah, any yeah. of your kids who are obsessed. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. Don't get this for your kids. It was released at the end of the year last year yeah. um, from Sailor in Japan. Yeah. And it's made its way over to the US now, yeah. which we're really happy about. Yeah. We're seeing more, a lot of these more like decal, like decal decorated pens right. um, coming out of Sailor. Right like the those Mizutama pens that right. they did, which are steel nibs, not yeah. gold nibs, but um, they're so cute. So yeah, hopefully great. more of those, yeah. very adorable. Okay, so that's the first snowy pen. And then let's talk about the next fountain pen that we have a newly added, which yeah. is this one here. It is the Twisby Diamond 580 ALR in right. black. It's a standard Twisby Diamond 580 ALR, so it has well, it has obviously the piston here, and then all of the 580 ALRs have this grip section, which yep. has threading on it. So it you can feel the texture of the thread, which is nice for grippiness, so it's not sliding around in your hand when you're holding the pen and when you're writing. It doesn't, it doesn't bother you though. It's not like bumpy on your hand. And then it's like this matte black color matte black on the cap details and the bands, and matte black on the uh, grip section, obviously. And this is a cool one. I mean, it's just black, but it's really cool because yeah, Twisby cool. always says these bright yeah. colors. Right, right, right. Um, they do have black in other, like Eco, Eco has a black. Right, but it's also like has a black. not this kind of black. I feel right, like right. the metal black this makes matte, it nice. Matte, matte black. black. The other yeah. two are more like shiny black. Right, exactly. Yeah. Um, so this is a nice one into the Twisby collection. You know how I love my Twisbees. Um, and then what else is new? I guess like in the fountain pen yeah. arena, we have some new inks from Dominant Industry. These are a continuation of Dominant Industries Painter series. Yeah, I like I like where this is going. <laughs> yeah, so it's like you don't you don't exactly know what they're gonna come out next, but it could be like anything. Well, you you kind of know, but you don't know, I guess. Right, like right. It's you, kind of, you kind of know. You kind of know. <laughs> you, don't, you don't know, because you can pick from so many um, colors. Painters. Right, right. Yeah. Well, I, 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 love, I love these two. First of all, I love this painting. I love yeah. the mood of that painting. It's so right. dark. So these are inspired by the artworks of William Turner, who is a painter. The names of them are Fishermen at Sea. So that's the one that's inspired by this painting here. This is a standard ink, so it's not a shimmer ink or anything like that. It's this really beautiful, luscious, dark green. And then the next ink color is the Harbor of Dieppe. And this is How do you the say that? Dieppe? Dieppe. It's a French right. word. So like Dieppe is a harbor in France. I looked it up. <laughs> um, and this is the painting that it's inspired by. So you can really see the colors of the painting come through in this ink here. And this you can see is a shimmer ink. This is the bottle here. So got those glitter particles under there. So you got to shake it up before you use it. Um, I think it's interesting. I was doing like I was just reading about like this this artist, yeah. and apparently a lot of his paintings are having to do with like the difference of like natural light and how it looks um, in different conditions and things oh. like that. So this is obviously like like sunrise. I don't know sunrise or sunset at the harbor somewhere, oh. and then this is like the moonlight during a dark storm. Um, that's very cool. So those are new inks from Dominant Industries. It's the yeah. continuation of the Painter series. Can't wait to see what they do next. They've done like Monet in the yeah. past before. And then um, we have some really cute little, what are these? Yeah. Are these notebooks? That's what they're supposed to look like. <laughs> yeah. Are these A7 notebooks? They're yes. not. Actually, they are what this picture shows. They're card holders. Yeah. <laughs> 
So they're in Loistrom's card holders and they just thought to make them look like these adorable yeah. Loistrom's. It's too cute, we cannot pass. Yeah. yeah, so... Yeah, we don't even have all their notebooks, but we got them. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? We, just have their, we have like their A A5 notebooks. Right, right, right. And then we have this. They're probably so perplexed by oh, our right. decisions over here. Yeah, yeah. We uh, just uh, order with our hearts sometimes, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Not always with our brains. <laughs> um, but those are really cute. Yeah. I guess it's a. I don't, I don't know how many. This is the inside of it, if you're curious. Yeah. Um, it might go together with your ink swatches if you keep them in card sizes. Ah, yeah. like those yeah. little Noto cards maybe, yeah. right? Yeah. Or, yeah, there's lots of little card things for ink swatching. Right, or do people, I'm sure people use business cards, might find this useful too. Yeah, or even like yeah. credit cards, really. Oh, um, yeah, credit cards. Yeah. Yeah, so that's about it for the newly added stationery. We have some really exciting fountain pens, yeah. some really beautiful new inks, and these adorable little business card holders. Right. So um, let us know if you have a favorite from this week's newly added. Other than that, um, we have an interesting question that I came upon from, uh, I did a video this week on the uh, ink cartridge and converter sizes explained yeah. because it's one of the most frequently asked questions we get from customers in store yeah. and my hands during that video like a lot of the comments were on my hands That's because funny. they were just covered in ink yeah. um, and one question was like, what's the best way to remove ink from your hand? Oh, that's such a so, good idea. Yeah, yeah, so that's my Ask Yoseka Anything question this week. Yeah. Um, and we have ink all over our hands all the time right. here at Yoseka, all the time. Um, and I'll be honest, most of the time, like if my hands are covered in ink, they're going to stay that way for a few days. But if I do really want to remove ink from my hands, what I do is actually I take, um, an abrasive sponge, like, um, a dish, a dish sponge with like abrasive. the abrasive, not abrasive, like, you know, the scrubby side of a sponge. Oh, okay. Um, and then I, I oh, soap up my hands. And then I actually like use a sponge oh, to like works. kind of scrape off, and that okay. works really well. Yeah, that works well. Okay. That's my that's, that's my that's uh, your trick. yeah plus yeah. Uh, yeah dish soap dish soap works oh, really dish, well. Dish, dish soap, but dish basically not soap. treat your where regular soap works yeah. as well, but dish soap works better. So just basically treat your hands like dirty, dirty dishes and scrub that ink away. So that's what I do. I feel like it's bad for your skin. Well, that's why I only do it every once in a while, but uh, like, I feel, and then I lotion afterwards, but like, that's just if you really want the ink off your hands. Usually I'm fine with ink on my fingers, yeah. and that, which is why I always have ink on my fingers. Okay. Yeah. So if you want to do it fast, do you recommend this way? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. That's my hack. In store this week, we had a really great weekend. We yeah. saw so many customers. Yeah. It was actually so busy, which yeah. was kind of surprising for like the coldest weekend of the whole That's year. Right. Um, the weather. Yeah. The weather. But thank you all for coming out in the really, really severe weather, risking frostbite <laughs> and coming to shop for your stationery. Um, it was so busy that I feel like some, it's sometimes like so busy that it's like very back to back and I'm just like, you know, like talking to so many customers at one time that I didn't get to catch like any one particular customer's name. Mm -hmm. But I was talking to Ashley and she wanted me to give a shout out to this customer, Alex. Alex. Who, um, yeah, Alex is a big fan of Yoseka and particularly a big fan of Ashley's. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Ashley was impressed because Alex said hi to her and then even knew about her love of Ludwig. What's that? I don't know. I think it's a podcast. I just asked her that and then I forgot what she said. But um, <laughs> I think she said it's a podcast that she listens to. But that's exactly what I said. I was like, what's Ludwig? Um, but Alex, you knew. You knew about it and you knew that Ashley loved it. And um, yeah, I think she enjoyed talking to you and she wanted me to give you a shout out. Oh. So we love that. We love that yeah. so much. So that's thank sweet. you, yeah. Alex, for coming by and like making Ashley's day a little bit brighter on, on Sunday. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. 
Um, so that pretty much wraps it up for this episode of Catching Up With Yoseka Stationery. Um, we'll be working on some other YouTube videos this week for yeah. you all. Um, we've been doing more like vlogging style videos. Hopefully yeah. you've been enjoying those. Yeah. Um, let us know in the comments what you've been thinking. And thank you so much for watching this episode. Yeah. Bye. Bye.